Mocha, a great city with a historical port mixed with blood, money, sweat, and commerce. It is one of the most important and strategic gate of Yemen to the outside world throughout history. With its ports being one of the main keys to the renaissance of Yemen. Historians call it economic brain of Yemen. Because of the name Mocha, which in Arabic language means brain. Historical sources say that the state of Osan was a maritime state which controlled the regions of the southwest of the Red Sea and the coast of Mocha on the other side of the Red Sea. This port has always been used throughout Yemen's history since the time of the Sabians, the Kitabanians, the Himyarites, and the successive Yemeni states in the Islamic era, and is still flourishing until our time. Despite the transformation of trade routes to Western European port and the stagnation of ports and trade in the Arabian countries, this is how the country leveraged the port's status and importance. Mocha was able to attract and draw all the prime port traders' attention, including the French, the Dutch, and the English, who came to Yemen to harness what, at the time, was internationally known as coffee mocha, meaning mocha coffee. Ottomans captured Mocha under the leadership of Suleiman the Magnificent in 1538. The special military base to facilitate invading other Yemeni ports, Mocha fell in the hands of the Ottomans, who did not realize that Mocha also possessed the black gold called coffee. From here we will start our journey to find out about the history of coffee and learn about the spread of the drink worldwide. There are many legendary narrations about the origin of coffee, but the oldest evidence of coffee drinking or knowledge of it dates back to the 15th century in Yemen, in the region of Wasab. It's said that it had been discovered accidentally by a very lucky individual called Omar al-Shazili, who when he was hungry started picking raw coffee cherries, which were quite bitter to bite. So he decided to toast them until they became tough. Then he tried to boil them to soften, and along that process, a brown liquid came out. He drank from it and began feeling more energetic and vigorous for days. From here, the story of the magic drink spread and reached the rest of Yemen. The origin of coffee began from here. Yemen embraces many various tribes who cling to their ancient customs and traditions. Coffee is usually presented during meetings that require important decisions, whether they are family or tribal ones. These ancient rituals and traditions are important and valued within the life of Yemeni people. The Yemenis planted the coffee tree and sold it all over Yemen, where it became a part of each and every family home. They exported mocha's cultivation all over the world. Yemen's coffee arrived and visited all parts of the world from its east to the west to share its goodness. Yemeni coffee was famously called mocha, mocha coffee, attributed to the port from which it had been exported, also called mocha. They also called it coffee or kahwa from the verb aha, meaning that the appetite is gone by drinking it. For this reason, they drank coffee after eating and never before. By the 16th century, it had reached the rest of the Middle East, southern India, Persia, Turkey, the Horn of Africa, and North Africa. And coffee spread to other countries and gained many names, like kahva in Turkish, cafe in Italian, and eventually entering English language in 1582 AD through the German language coffee. Coffee reached the U.S. within the year 1720 AD and spread to Haiti, Mexico, and other surrounding areas. Yemen considered it a national monopoly and prevented access to the seeds as if it were war secrets. The coffee business thrived, and coffee was given the title of black gold for the massive number of global sales. In the year 1722, Portuguese raids spread throughout the Ottoman seizure of Mocha. During their occupation, the Portuguese was able to take the Yemeni coffee seed, which was at the forefront of the trading world.
Then the king of Portugal, Francisco de Melo Palheta, took coffee beans from Yemen, and by his own means, he was able to successfully grow them in Brazil. Brazilian coffee became the second best coffee in the world after the Yemeni quality. Besides decades of political and economical instability, Yemen has long suffered from chronic problems to manage water resources, problems exacerbated by the popularity of the cod tree and the psychoactive plant leaves that the majority men chew. At least half of the water withdrawn from the exhausted groundwater sources is usually used for the cultivation of khat, which only takes months to grow. Unlike the coffee tree, which is harvested annually, something that motivated farmers to grow khat rather than coffee. The Yemeni coffee quality is characterized by its cultivation in the mountains, where the nature provides the appropriate climate that gives coffee its ancient historical taste and makes it the top and finest types of coffee in the world. With time, the coffee cultivation in Yemen deteriorated من عزلة هوزان جريت العامي عميزة البنة الآن بدر يعولة يعني ولو نتيجة الآن السوق هابط بس البنة يغطي القت ما عملنا فايدة نهائيا قلعوا كثير الناس أنا مزارع بن من زمان ومزارع قت من زمان وقلعت قت كامل قد قلعت أنا من حق جدي الله يرحمه قلع أكثر من الثلث ورديته بن كامل البنة الممتازة هي حب من نضوج حبه تك حصاوي تمس كل طعمه حالي نفس السكر البنة حقنا يعني هو أجود أنواع البنة في العالم كامل أنا بيتواصلوا معي من ماليزيا دوري سطروا البنة حقنا بأي وسيلة الافتتاح لما فات مضيق علينا بسبب الحصار بسبب التصدير ولا كل شيء جاهز Despite the difficult crisis Yemeni people are experiencing, a handful of farmers and exporters took over coffee production in the village of Haraz, where farmers decided to get rid of Qat in their lands after learning its effect on coffee, a decision which may cause a revolution in Yemeni agriculture in the hope of restoring the reputation and reviving the black gold. The gold that Haraz Coffee House presents. Haraz Coffee House promises the finest types of Harazi coffee, a cultivation that was preserved through the struggle of the national farmers and their loyalty to their ancient history. The finest quality and therefore the purest taste. Aras Coffee House is the source to start regenerating the black gold.